Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another video and for those who just joined us, welcome, welcome to our channel. As you guys can tell by the video title that this is going to be a flip through through lasted July 2016 to end of December 2016. I wanted to upload this video so much at the beginning of the year. However, as you guys all know, something did happen to my family. And on side note, thank you everybody. Oh my god, your love and your sweet kind words. Oh my gosh, I cannot thank you all enough who left the comments. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let's get back to our studio. So this is my old planner from last year. I did do a flip through from January till June. I'll put the link down below. And this one is from July till December. So starting with July, this is from my July mystery kits. All my monthly spread is from my mystery kits. I do not sell it single on Etsy. It's all in a kit with a two week kit. So the first week of July is obviously Canada Day and this kit was not on sale also on Etsy. I decided to just make a glitter Canada Day celebration kit. At first I wasn't sure about having the whole kit being glitter. That's why I didn't post it on Etsy to sell. But a lot of you guys did like it so I might have to make a new one or new edition for this year's Canada Day. As you can see here, there's a few weeks that I didn't plan. I think it was two weeks we went on holiday, so I didn't really plan those two weeks. And next, we're jumping into July the 18th, and this is one of the kits. I, use, I think this is my August mystery kit that I use. The week of July 25th, I've decided to use my Be A Mermaid kit. It's no longer in the shop. I have pulled it off because it had its run. Here is August monthly view. And this one is the second kit of the August weekly kits. And I did not film a plan with me with this one. I think I just wanted a time to myself and just, just plan, sit down and plan. And the next following week, it's this is my Southern Charm kit where I didn't really use a kit. This is mostly from scrapbook paper that I got from Michaels. I believe it was a recollection pad, I'm not too sure. And on the 22nd, this is my first, not first, second mashup of two shops. And this is ours, well, mine, <laughs> September monthly view from our September mystery kit. And this kit here is called All Dressed Up. It's also, it should be available in my shop. I'm pretty sure it's still up in my shop. I apologize if there's blank week, it's because it's a long weekend, then we will be away. So because this is mid-September, I felt that summer is almost over, so this is our summer story kit last chance to use any summery color and because we're going into fall I decided to use a woodland theme for this week as you can see that the weekend sticker is off because of this glitter scrapbook paper that I won't stick on no matter how much I try and we're heading into October this is my October monthly view the kit you see here is also from my October mystery kit. And here's another mashup of two stores. And this is my third one that I've done as a mashup. And I pretty much really enjoy doing it actually. It doesn't look too bad too. For this one, this is right before Halloween, I decided to do a no kit challenge. Mostly it was all stamping and things that I found at the dollar store and dollar store stickers. And here is the November monthly view from our November mystery kit. And for the week of Halloween, I've decided to use my Pretty Lies weekly kits here. Thank you. 
With my Happy Planner, I use it as a memory keeper too. So there will be some times you'll see me adding little cards or any journaling cards just to remind me what had happened that week. And this is one of our November Mystery Kits weekly kits. And for this week, I remember this week because I didn't really film a plan with me with this spread. I was so busy with cutting and restocking and printing. I couldn't do anything because that's all I did all day, all week was just cutting, printing, and restocking. So this week is the second weekly kit from my November mystery kit. So now heading on to December. So this is the December monthly view from my December mystery kit. And I just love, love, love this color combination. Just love it. And this is one of the weekly kits that came with the mystery kit. And this is the second kit of the weekly kit that comes in the mystery kit. So those who just joined us or that is new to my channel and to my shop, all my weekly kits and monthly kits are only exclusive in my mystery kits. I will not um, post it up as separate kits that you guys could purchase in my shop. It's only exclusive in the mystery kit. This one I call Mambi Merry Christmas because I've used the seasonal stickers in that Mambi seasonal sticker book. And this is the week before Christmas or the week of Christmas and I did not film this plan with me because I know there's a lot to do that week as you can see. It's mostly me writing then stickers there and it's because we were hosting Christmas. So the last week of the year I've decided to use my January mystery kit. thought that journaling card the best is yet to come is pretty fitting for that week because it's the week of New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So thank you guys for watching and if you do like this flip through, please give it a thumbs up. As you know, I'll be only doing two flip throughs throughout the year. And if you guys are new to my channel and have not subscribed, please do so. I greatly appreciate it. And you guys, as my book cover says, work hard and stay humble. Happy planning guys. Bye.